I haven't recorded a video for maybe like four months or something and the minute that I started to film I felt this thing on my face and I went to brush it away and it was a mosquito and the mosquito stung me basically as I wiped it away it stung me and it stung me right on my lip as I was talking so the first time in months that I pick up a camera and I start to film a video and I get stung on the lip here I think you can see it it's kind of big what the hell this is my first video for months and now I have to do it with a swollen lip Today my lip is not so big, so I can record today. So today I'm gonna to teach you a little phrase that's actually very, very useful and we use it a lot in British English, but I think you've probably never heard it before and I like teaching you those phrases. So let's break it down because honestly, this phrase is brilliant. Okay, so when someone uses the phrase speaks volumes. They're not talking about books and they're not talking about sound. No, they mean that something like a look, an action, or even silence communicates a lot of information without saying even one word. So for example, let's imagine your friend walks into the room and they see you drinking the last bit of coffee and they give you a look like this. That look speaks volumes. No words are needed. It's pretty clear how your friend is feeling. But that's just one way to use it. Let's take a look, a look at some, let's take a look at some other examples that you might recognize from your daily life. Imagine that you're on a date and you think things are going great and you start telling a story, but your date starts checking their phone the whole time that you're telling the story. That action speaks volumes. They don't have to say anything, but that action gives a lot of information. And even though they didn't say anything, it's kind of clear that they're not that interested. Actually, this phrase is super versatile because it could be an eye roll, it could be a thumbs up, it could be silence. All of these can speak volumes without having to say one single word. So when something speaks volumes, it's the non-verbal communication that is giving the information rather than actual speaking. And here's a fun fact. The phrase speaks volumes has been around since at least the 19th century. Back then, it was often used in literature to describe how something was so powerful and gave so much information that it could fill volumes. That's really, really thick books. Imagine trying to read that book. That would be exhausting. So next time you notice someone's behavior or you're in a situation where you're understanding a lot without anybody saying anything, you'll know exactly what to say. And now you can drop the phrase speaks volumes into your conversations like an English pro. You're welcome. So hey, if this video spoke volumes to you, give it a like and why not subscribe? Until next time, keep it loud or keep it quiet, whatever speaks volumes to you.